to the leader of the council read out a statement, a statement he should have composed and issued eight days ago, and then say we couldn't have a meeting because I pointed out to him that there were journalists present. And he then abandoned the meeting. So yet again, he has failed to turn up and answer questions of ordinary members of the council and, and worse, of ordinary members of the public. He has a duty to speak to the victims of, of this tragedy, and he's still hiding in the town hall ten days later. He's supposed to be the leader of the council. He's supposed to lead. He has been hiding away for a week, and, that, and it's, all he's been able to do is to read out a statement. He is not leading. The council is not leading. Thank God other councils have stepped in. We had Operation Gold who have kept things going, but Operation Gold, in the end, will have to go away, and they cannot hand back control to this council at the moment because as you've seen the council is not functioning and in particular its housing department isn't functioning. We've got junior officers who have worked themselves into the ground and who are doing a brilliant job but if they're not led and they have no political leadership and this lot don't have the guts to stand up and, and to explain what's happening and to provide leadership then we're not going to get anywhere. I understand that you have quite a personal connection with Renfrew Tower yourself, that's the area. I, I am a councillor for the ward, and I think I've been doing, we've been doing our duty, which is to speak to our residents, but where is the council leadership? Where is the tenant management organisation? Um, do you think anything short of a wholesale resignation of the entire... I've been calling for their resignation for a week, and, and I'm now even more furious about this. They can't even organise a meeting of their own cabinet. Um, and do you think it's tenable at the moment? Because they're, they're holding, no. holding meetings in private, they're you know, resisting calls to resign. Do you think Running around like headless chickens. And it's, it is far too serious to be messing around like that. And he, make, he made some jive about people making political points. It is not making political points, demanding answers for my residents and an explanation as to why they have handled this tragedy so appallingly. How will you be trying to explain this to people that you work with? I will continue to speak to the residents, which is what I've been doing for the last 10 days, and to be encouraging those officers who are doing their job properly. I will speak to the charities, I will speak to the, to the outside organisations, but all you need to do is to speak to the outside organisations themselves, who say they are trying to do a job, but they can't do it because they've not got, got any cooperation or structure from the council. The council has, in effect, again tonight collapsed.